I confidently recommend the Aprio i3s for gastroenterology. There are many reasons, but what stands out for me is the diagnostic capability and the ease of use. Making ultrasound part of my routine patient management has brought significant benefits to the patient care I provide. This system provides me with a lot of clinical information in a very simple and non-invasive way. It's important to me as a clinician to do the best that I can do for my patients, to diagnose them, to treat them, and follow them up sometimes over many years, and this machine really helps me to do that. I don't think gastroenterologists commonly use ultrasound themselves, but that is something I feel should change. I suspect that people don't realize just how much information that we gain from such a simple test. It's really valuable and allows me to clinically make informed decisions for my patients on the spot. This system was easy for me to run to use. It's intuitive and I have it set up to suit my requirements. One of the important problems in gastroenterology is wide spectrum of liver disease. But the new technologies, SWE and ATI give me important objective and reproducible information, especially in steatotic liver disease without putting the patient through a complicated or invasive procedure. I can provide the patient with a comprehensive risk assessment and treatment plan, so it's an invaluable tool to assess liver and provide the optimal care to my patients. This is a really hot topic for hepatologists. Having a single overturing terminology and clear clinical criteria for the different subclassifications is an important step. We now need to reconsider SWE and ADI whether the associated cutoffs and values are aligned with this new criteria. Many papers about NAFLD and NASH has been published, therefore it is time to confirm with the new criteria. I really think ultrasound is an invaluable tool in daily work, but also in clinical research. It's versatile, non-invasive, and indispensable to study various conditions and interventions. I have utilized ultrasound throughout my career. It's been instrumental in expanding our knowledge of gastroenterology and disease processes. In fact, my first publication centered around the theme of ultrasound. Recognizing its potential, I embarked on a research journey to explore the capabilities and application of ultrasound in a specific aspect of gastroenterology. Yeah, I strongly advocate for the integration of ultrasound into routine practice. In my own practice, I have realized the immense value of being able to scan my patients when I suspect liver problems. Scanning the patient myself, I expand my knowledge of the liver, of liver ultrasound, and also of the patient's condition. By putting together the biochemical results and the patient examination and also the ultrasound examination, I reach a much broader and comprehensive conclusion earlier in the disease process. I think this also encourages my patients. They, they see me in all aspects of the diagnosis, planning, and follow-up. They know that we are committed to their healthcare and that they can easily communicate with us about their concerns or prognosis. 